But that storm is starting to wind down. You can see it's been nearly stationary, just sitting over the city. The steering currents are very weak up the road. Same thing happening around Atoka and Stringtown. But as I zoom out, you'll see that's just about it. There are very few showers around. We have one little shower forming near Carpenter's Bluff here, it looks like. But uh, this activity should begin to wind down. And by 8 o'clock, I think we're pretty much done with it. Can't rule out just a stray shower hanging around for the next couple of hours. So by game time, we're going just a 10% chance of rain. And it's going to be a warm and humid night with temperatures in the 80s to start things off and we'll finish up somewhere between 76 and 80 as always hope your favorite team wins all right thank you steve well he said it another great week of high school football matchups with some familiar foes going toe to toe tonight that's right jeremy thomas live out in whitesboro where the bearcats are going to host the gunner tigers tonight jeremy yeah, I just heard Steve talk about the rain out in Bryan County. You can actually see the clouds in the northeast of just here. We're on the western side of Grayson County, though. No rain out here in Whitesboro as the Bearcats get ready to host the Gunner Tigers. Now, it's a matchup that you just mentioned. Two familiar foes going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They know each other very well from the same county, of course, but they also know what success is, and that's something that's going to be a test here tonight. Both these teams lost last week, so they'll be looking to bounce back in this one here tonight. Kickoff at 7 30 and coming up a little later in sports we'll preview a little bit more about this matchup as well reporting live in whitesboro i'm jeremy thomas all right thanks jeremy